What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Outriders video. And today we are going to talk about your settings and which one change. This is going to be post patch, so everything should be fixed in the game. You should not have to worry about anything. So welcome back to Outriders. I know all the server troubles, the inventory bugs, all of that was a huge, huge headache. But now that it's all over, everything's been fixed, quote unquote, let's talk about your settings. Now I did a video on this before, back when the demo was out, but now that all these patches have gone through, there's been some settings that have been added to the game, and I felt like a new updated video was in order. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now if you do enjoy this video, support the channel by hitting that thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, and subscribe to the channel for more Outriders content. Alright, so the first set of settings I want to talk about is going to be under your gameplay options. Okay, so there's, I think there's four or five of these I want to talk to you about. So the first one being Auto Loot Minimum Rarity. So what this is is this will automatically add the loot to your inventory when you you know finish a section of a mission maybe you just killed a boss and you're about to fast travel loot will automatically be added to your inventory without you having to pick it up now you can set this to which you know set uh, of gear and above you would want so if you have it set to common that means every single piece of gear will be added to your inventory no matter what. Now just for uh, layman's terms, in case you don't know what these are, common is your white gear. Unusual is your green gear. Rare is your blue gear. Epic is your purple gear. And finally, legendary is your gold gear. Now for me personally, I am level 30, world tier 15, and I'm trying to get up to a uh, challenge tier 15. So for me personally, I would probably just set this to rare or higher. That way all the blue, purple, and gold gear is automatically added to my inventory. You're not really going to see the green or white gear at this level. So just keeping it on rare will, will cover you for all bases. So that's your first one. Now, how do you automatically pick up the loot? You can do that by hitting down on your D-pad. I'm not sure exactly what it is on PC, so let me know in the comment section below how you automatically just auto pick up loot. But for console, I know that it is down on the D-pad. All right, so that is your auto loot minimum rarity setting. Next up, we want to talk about the default game privacy. Now this is a big one. Not a lot of people are changing this. So mine right now is set to closed. That means people can only join me if I invite them. Now if I set it to friends only or open, then you know people, either friends only or anyone, can just join you at any time. But because I'm making a video, I have mine set to closed, and there it is. All right, and finally, the other option I wanted to show you under gameplay is the enable crossplay. Now, recently, with all the server troubles and the inventory wipe bug that was going around in the game, the developers were telling everyone to turn this setting off. That way, they don't accidentally, you know, run into in these problems. But now that everything is fixed and this is post patch. I would tell you to go ahead and turn that sucker back on and enjoy your crossplay. So whether you're on PC, console, it doesn't matter. Go have fun. And then the last but not least, cinematic camera smoothing. I have mine all the way maxed out at 1.0, and that's because I did not want the camera shaking while watching those cutscenes. Uh, they did add this to the game very recent, and it helps out quite a bit. All right, next up, we have the audio settings. Now, I've heard in a lot of different comment sections that the music is too loud, the audio is too loud, you can't hear game chat or party chat, what have you. 
So just to give you like an example, this is what I did with my settings. So I lowered the master volume just a little bit down to seven, but then I dramatically lowered my other volumes. That way I can focus more on, you know, my party chat, you know, the mission itself. So this is how I did it. Obviously you can tweak it, do whatever. But for me personally, with making videos and all that, I wanted to have the music down low, all the other volumes down low. That way you can focus more on what I'm saying and not so much what the game is saying. And that is under your audio setting. All right, then you have your HUD. So just in case you want to change anything on your HUD, there you go. And then next up is play setting. Now this one is pretty big. They did add this uh, around launch and that is your motion blur toggle. Now we are all well aware that during the demo motion blur was a big controversy because uh, it was really, really bad. So what the developers did is they added, they added this toggle that way you could turn it on or off and I'm pretty sure 99.9% of us want this turned off. So there you go. It is under the display settings. And then finally, uh, let's see. Yeah, so finally, I'm not really gonna talk about the accessibility settings because there's really nothing crazy in here, but under controls, this is gonna be the last part of this video. So under controls, you have sensitivity and then you have other. We'll start with the other. For me personally, I am not a huge fan of the vibration in this game. Um, whether it be explosions, bullets flying, anything at all, uh, enemies slamming the ground, what have you, uh, your controller will vibrate like crazy. So I have this turned off, that way it doesn't distract me, I can just focus on shooting the enemy, getting the job done. And then also I, I had to turn off the aim assist, because I found out that more than not, uh, the aim assist would go straight for the chest. And for me, a lot of my mods for my weapon is uh, for crit hit shots. So how I get my crit hits is I shoot the head. Shooting the head will give you a lot of crit really fast, I promise you. So turn off the aim assist because the aim assist will go straight for their chest. You don't want to shoot them in their chest. You want to go for those crit shots and you're more likely to get those crit shots when you are aiming for the head. So turn off vibration, turn off aim assist, and just have fun. All right, now the last part is the sensitivity. Now I have noticed that with different archetypes, you need to change your sensitivity. So whether you are a LMG main, an AR main, SMG main, sniper main, whatever uh, you prefer, you need to make sure your sensitivity settings are good for you. So make sure you tweak those because some weapons they'll move super quick, some weapons move super slow. So just make sure you tweak this and it'll definitely enhance your gameplay when it comes to Outriders. And that's actually it. Um, those are your settings. So let's do a really quick overview. Auto loot minimum rarity, I have mine set to rare. Uh, gameplay privacy, right now mine's set to closed, but I'd probably go for open or friends only, depends on what you prefer. And then finally, the enable crossplay, make sure that is on. Now the next one I wanted to show you, go to display, turn off, motion blur, and then for your settings, turn off vibration and uh, aim assist. So I hope that helps you for Outriders. I know my other change the settings now video is kind of outdated, so I felt like I needed to make this updated version of it. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. While you do that, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.